I want to know what you think the real Dalton Trumbo would say today if you were to see the film. Well, I, I hope that he would, uh, he would probably uh, uh, have some criticisms. <laughs> you know, he was a, a, a very prolific writer, so I think, <coughs> excuse me, I think he would look at it and say, well, I think the arc of the second act might have been improved somewhat if you had tried this or that. <laughs> And the, but the finale was quite nice. The denouement worked quite well. The character development was uh, was interesting. And I thought the fellow who played me could have been a lot more handsome, quite frankly. You couldn't have, I think you could have gotten Robert Redford or someone to play me. That would have been more appropriate. I think he'd be pleased. Now, what responsibility did you feel in making a movie that was based on a true story? Well, you always um, take on an added responsibility when it's a non-fictional character. Um, <clears throat> and there are, there are several things that, that uh, give you an advantage in a non-fictional character, like uh, uh, source material, um, and books written about him, or an autobiography, or certainly audio and videotape and things that you can look at, family members that you can talk to. Um, but with that comes that extra responsibility of, geez, I don't... <laughs> Excuse me. I don't want to be caught doing an impersonation of this guy. I um, I want to just try to get the essence of who he is. Mm -hmm. And your critics, the people who knew him, his family and friends, are going to see this, and hopefully they will say, mm, "That's that's pretty good. That's pretty close." You know, it's like you got the essence of who he was, and and that's what I was hoping for. How does it make you feel to know that his actual family is going to see this film? Nerve wracking. No, not anymore, because they were involved in, in a, as consultants mm -hmm. early on. And in fact, had a lot to do with the, uh, the outcome of the screenplay. Um, I consulted with them, I chatted with them several times, and they were extremely helpful, um, both Nicola and mm -hmm. Mitzi, and Nancy Escher, who is um, the uh, daughter-in-law mm -hmm. of, of Dalton. So they were extremely helpful. Yeah, they were so sweet last night on the carpet. Yeah. Now, your character also, in some people's opinions, could be considered <coughs> kind of an anti-hero, just like Walter White in Breaking Bad. How do you prepare to play characters like that? Well, you don't approach uh, a character with a judgment like that. That's, that's the trick, is, um, is you, you approach a character, and if, it's, uh, if he's dubious or nefarious in any way, you embrace the why of it, you know, the justification mm -hmm. of why your character would do this sort of thing. Um, and once you get that understanding inside of you, then it's easier to, to portray him honestly. And that's the goal. Absolutely. And you also have a lot of projects coming up. Can you tease any of those for me? Oh, God, I guess so many. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm pleased that uh, Trumbo is finally uh, getting its, its due and, and being noticed by people. Um, after that, we have uh, All the Way, which is where I played Lyndon Johnson um, in the first year of his presidency. And that comes out in May. So, so many historical movies. About that. I know, it's fun. <laughs>